Hi, my name is Josh, and I used to work for the state of Utah's Unclaimed Property Division. If you don't know what Unclaimed Property is, click the link below that says, What is Unclaimed Money or Unclaimed Property? There you'll be able to find out what Unclaimed Money is. Now, I assume that most of you are watching this video because you've watched my other video or you've discovered that your company has unclaimed money and you want to know how to claim it, okay? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, we're gonna cover some of the basic documents that you're gonna have to provide in order to show proof of ownership. And then we're also gonna cover the claim filing process, how to file a claim. So the first thing that you're gonna have to do is make one make sure that you're either on the state's website or missingmoney.com. If you're on a different website, you're probably either going to have to pay money um, or you've already paid money, which is unfortunate because this is a free service to the public. It doesn't cost a penny. Now, there's two ways to file on behalf of a company. One is it active. If it's an active company, you'll fill the information out as if you're claiming on behalf of the company. Now, if it's inactive, then you'll file on behalf of you as the individual claiming for the company. We'll get into the inactive companies in just a minute, but let's talk about active companies, okay? Once you've filled out the information, you printed off a claim form, you have to be somebody who's authorized on behalf of the company to sign the claim form. So the first thing you're going to do, get the claim form. Number two, give it to the person who's authorized to sign the claim on behalf of the company. Okay. The third thing you're going to need is a copy of a photo ID of that person signing. Okay. That can either be a driver's license, passport, or a company photo ID. A company photo ID will work in that case, showing that person's name and their position in the company. It has to have that details. The next thing you're going to need is a copy of a document with their tax ID number on it for the company. Generally speaking, you're going to have to come up with something that's either proof of address, showing the company at that address. Um, in some cases, that's different. So you'll have to find proof of address and maybe proof of doing business with that company. Now, if it's a cashier's check, if it's stocks, if it's bonds, if it's a security, then you're going to have to come up with the original security certificate that correlates with that money. So in order to expedite that process, like I said, claim form, of course, you're going to want to have it notarized, company photo ID of the person who signed the claim form, copy of the tax ID. Now that can be a W-2, a tax return, anything that has your tax ID number on it. In some cases, you can use your business license um, as well as proof of address that's listed on the claim. Not your, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you provide your current address. It's what was reported to the state, okay? The next thing, uh, proof of doing business with the company if you have it. Now, that's, that's basically it in a nutshell. Once you file that, send it uh, to the state wherever the you know whatever their mailing address is you send that into the state and then it's kind of a waiting game you'll just want to call them follow up and see if there's any additional documentation that they need from you in order to claim the money if you're filing on behalf of an inactive company you're going to have to provide pretty much the same documentation you're going to have to provide the claim form you're going to have to provide a copy of a photo id document with your social on it because in this case the company's not claiming it you're claiming it personally. So you have to have your social, okay? The next thing you're gonna need is something showing your you know, proof of ownership of the company. Now, if there's more than one owner of the company, let's say that it was owned by two people, 50-50, then you'll have to provide something showing that you had 50% ownership in the company, okay? You'll also have to provide, in most cases, a copy of the tax ID number for the company as well as proof of previous address, proof of doing business with the holder. Now, if it's a security, you're gonna to have to provide the security certificate, the original one, for you know, in order to claim that money. So that's how you file on behalf of a business. 
Now, if you're in need of my services to help you to recover some unclaimed money, please send me an email to dykesfam at gmail.com. That's D-Y-X-F-A-M at gmail.com. And I'd be more than happy to help you. I hope that this has been beneficial to you. Um, if it has, please, 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 please leave me a comment below, especially if you have found some unclaimed money in your name. And also include the dollar amount if you don't mind. People like to know if you actually found money and they like to hear success stories. So please leave a comment below. I appreciate it. And if you insist on sending me money, a gift, jewelry, a warm hug through a Christmas card, I'm also going to include my mailing address below. And you can send it to there if you would like. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please share this video. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you found the money that belongs to you. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.